Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to explain in detail how to prove trigonometric identities. In proving trigonometric identities, these are the basic identities that we need to remember. The first one is the reciprocal identities. In reciprocal identities, we have sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta, cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant theta, and tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta. The second one is the quotient identities. In quotient identities, we have tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta, and in Pythagorean identities, we have cosine square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1, and we have 1 plus tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta, and cotangent square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta. So these are the basic identities that we need to remember in order for us to prove trigonometric identities. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we are going to prove sine x multiplied by secant x equals tangent x. In proving trigonometric identities, we want to prove that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side of the equation. So to prove the given identity, let us rewrite sine x. Then let us change second x into 1 over cosine x equals tangent x. So to simplify, sine x multiplied by 1, that is sine x over cosine x equals tangent x. Therefore, sine x over cosine x is equal to tangent x. So therefore, we prove that sine x multiplied by second x is equal to tangent x. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we are going to prove cotangent x times second x multiplied by sine x equals 1. In order for us to prove the given identity, let us change cotangent in terms of sine cosine, that is cosine x over sine x. And then second x, that is 1 over cosine x. And let us write sine x equals 1. So to simplify, let us cancel cosine and let us cancel sine. Therefore, 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, we prove that cotangent x times second x multiplied by sine x is equal to 1. On example number 3, we are going to prove cosine square x minus sine square x equals 1 minus 2 sine square x. To prove the given identity, let us use sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. And we want to find the value of cosine square x. So to find the value of cosine square x, let us move sine square x into the side of 1. So we have cosine square x equals 1 minus sine square x. And this will be the value of cosine square x. So let us substitute this one to the given equation. So we have 1 minus sine square x. And then let us write negative sine square x equals 1 minus 2 sine square x. So let us simplify this one. Let us have 1. Negative sine square x minus sine square x, that is negative 2 sine square x. So therefore, we prove the given identity. On example number 4, we are going to prove second x minus second x times sine square x equals cosine x. So we want to have cosine on the left side of the equation. In order for us to do that, let us change second x in terms of 1 over cosine x minus second that is 1 over cosine x and let us find the value of sine square x so if you have sine square x plus cosine square x that is equals to 1 so we want to find the value of sine square x so let us move 
cosine square x to the side of 1, that is sine square x equals 1 minus cosine square x. And this will be the value of sine square x. So let us substitute this one to the given for equation. So let's have here 1 minus cosine square x equals cosine x. Let us simplify. Let's have 1 over cosine x minus, let us distribute 1. Let's have 1 minus cosine square x over cosine x. Since we have the same denominator, let us copy the denominator. Let's have cosine x and let us rewrite the numerator as this 1 minus the quantity of 1 minus cosine square x. And then, let us distribute the negative sign in each term of the parenthesis. Let's have 1, negative times 1, that is negative 1, negative times negative, that's positive, and then we have cosine square x over cosine x. So 1 minus 1, that is 0. So let's have cosine square x over cosine x. Cosine square x over cosine x, that is cosine x. So therefore, we prove that second x minus second x times sine square x is equal to cosine x. On example number 5, we are going to prove cosecant x minus sine x equals cotangent x times cosine x. So to prove the given identity, let us change cosecant x as 1 over sine x and let us write negative sine x equals cotangent x times cosine x. So since we have sine x as our denominator, so let us write sine x and let's have 1 minus sine x times sine x that is sine square x. We all know that we have sine square x plus cosine square x, it will give us 1. If you are going to move sine square x to the side of 1, it will give us 1 minus sine square x. And this will be the value of cosine square x. So let us change 1 minus sine square x as cosine square x. That is cosine square x over sine x. And then let us rewrite cosine square x as cosine x times cosine x. If you are going to multiply cosine x times cosine x, it will give us cosine square x. Let's have sine x on the denominator. We all know that cosine x over sine x, that is cotangent x. And let's have cosine x. Therefore, we prove that cosecant x minus sine x is equal to cotangent x times cosine x. On example number 6, we have cosine theta times secant theta all over cotangent theta equals tangent theta. So to prove the given identity, let us rewrite cosine theta and let's have secant theta as 1 over cosine theta. And let us change cotangent theta as cosine theta over sine theta. So let us cancel cosine and let's have 1 over cosine theta over sine theta. And then to simplify, let's have 1 times sine theta, that is sine theta over cosine theta. And we all know that sine theta over cosine theta, that is tangent theta. Therefore, we prove that cosine theta times secant theta over cotangent theta is equal to tangent theta. On example number 7, we have sine x times tangent x equals 1 minus cosine square x over cosine x. To prove the given identity, let us write sine x and let's have tangent x as sine x over cosine x. 
And let us simplify. Sine x times sine x, that is sine square x over cosine x. Since we have sine square x in the, in the numerator, it will give us the idea that we are going to use Pythagorean identities. That is sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. If we are going to move cosine square x to the side of 1, it will give us 1 minus cosine square x. And this will be the value of sine square x. So let us change sine square x as 1 minus cosine square x over cosine x. So therefore, we prove that sine x times tangent x is equal to 1 minus cosine square x over cosine x. On example number 8, we have sine square x multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus cotangent square x equals 1. In order for us to prove the given identity, let us rewrite sine square x. And we all know that 1 plus cotangent square x is equal to cosecant square x. So this will be the value of 1 plus cotangent square x. So let us change 1 plus cotangent square x as cosecant square x equals 1. And then let us write sine square x. Let's have cosecant square x as 1 over sine square x equals 1. And let's simplify. Sine square x times 1, that is sine square x, divide by sine square x, that is 1 equals 1. Or we can cancel this one. Therefore, sine square x times the quantity of 1 plus cotangent square x equals to 1. On example number 9, we have second square x over tangent x equals second x times cosecant x. So to prove this one, let us change second square x as 1 over cosine square x and let's have tangent x as sine x over cosine x. And then let us simplify. 1 multiplied by cosine x, that is cosine x, over cosine square x times sine x. It will give us cosine square x times sine x. So let us cancel this one. Cosine x become 1. Cosine square x become cosine x. So let us simplify. We have 1 over cosine x times sine x. Then, let us have 1 over cosine x multiplied by 1 over sine x. And then, the reciprocal of 1 over cosine x is secant x. And the reciprocal of 1 over sine x is cosecant x. Therefore, second square x over tangent x is equal to secant x times cosecant x. On number 10, we have tangent square x over second x equals second x minus cosine x. To prove the given identity, since we have tangent square x, it will give us the idea that we are going to use Pythagorean identities. And we all know that 1 plus tangent square x is equal to second square x. And if you want to find the value of tangent square x, let us move 1 to the side of second square x. And it will give us second square x minus 1. And this will be the value of tangent square x. So let's have second square x minus 1 over second x. And to simplify, let us separate the denominator of second square x and negative 1. So let's have second square x over second x minus 1 over second x. Second square x divided by second x, that is second x. 
Then we have negative 1 over second x that is cosine x. Therefore, we prove that tangent square x over second x is equal to second x minus cosine x. On number 11, we have 1 minus cosine x all over sine x equals cosecant x minus cotangent x. To simplify the given identity, let us separate the denominator of 1 and negative cosine x. So let's have 1 over sine x minus cosine x over sine x. And we all know that 1 over sine x, that is cosecant x minus cosine x over sine x, that is cotangent x. Therefore, 1 minus cosine x over sine x is equal to cosecant x minus cotangent x. On number 12, we are going to prove sine x over cosecant x plus cosine x over second x equals 1. So to prove this one, let's write sine x and let's have cosecant x as 1 over sine x plus let's write cosine x over second x that is 1 over cosine x equals 1. And then to simplify, sine x times sine x that is sine square x over 1 plus Cosine x times cosine x, that is cosine square x over 1 equals 1. Then let's have sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. And we all know that sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. Therefore, sine x over cosecant x plus cosine x over second x is equal to 1. On number 14, we have 1 minus sine square x over 1 plus cosine x equals cosine x. Since we have sine square x, it will give us the idea that we are going to use Pythagorean identities. And if we have sine square x plus cosine square x, that is 1. And if we are going to move cosine square x to the side of 1, it will give us 1 minus cosine square x and that that will be the value of sine square x so let us substitute the value of sine square x as 1 minus cosine square x so let us write 1 minus the quantity of 1 minus cosine square x over 1 plus cosine x if you have 1 minus cosine square x it is the same as 1 plus cosine x multiplied by 1 minus cosine x so let us write 1 minus cosine square x as 1 plus cosine x times the quantity of 1 minus cosine x so let's have here 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus cosine x times the quantity of 1 minus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x. So let us cancel this one. And let's have 1 minus the quantity of 1 minus cosine x over 1. And then, let us distribute the negative sign. Let's have 1 negative times 1, that is negative 1. And then, Negative times negative is positive cosine x. And if you are going to divide by 1, we are going to have the same answer. So 1 minus 1, that is 0. So therefore, cosine x is equal to cosine x. And 1 minus sine square x over 1 plus cosine x is cosine x. On number 15, we have cosine x over 1 minus sine x plus 1 minus sine x over cosine x equals 2 second x. Since we have 1 minus sine x on the denominator, so let us conjugate this one in order for us to simplify our answer. So let's have cosine x over 1 minus sine x. 
And let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of 1 minus sine x. That is 1 plus sine x over 1 plus sine x plus 1 minus sine x over cosine x. Then let's simplify. Let's have cosine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x over so since we have the same term but the difference is the sign we are simply multiply the first term to first term last term to last term one times one is one negative times positive is negative sine x times sine x that is sine square x plus one minus sine x over cosine x since we have sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. If we are going to move sine square x to the side of 1, it will give us cosine square x equals 1 minus sine square x. And the value of 1 minus sine square x is cosine. Therefore, let us change this one as cosine. Let's have cosine x times the quantity of 1 plus sine x over cosine square x plus let us write this one as 1 minus sine x over cosine x then let us cancel this one so we are going to have 1 and then cosine x on the denominator so since we have cosine x on the denominator let us write cosine x as our denominator and let us copy the numerator that is 1 plus sine x plus 1 minus sine x. 1 plus 1, it will give us 2. And sine x minus sine x, that is 0. Over cosine x. So let us write 2 over cosine x as 2 over 1 over second x. And let's multiply. 2 multiplied by second x divided by 1, that is to second x. Therefore, we prove that cosine x plus 1 minus sine x plus 1 minus sine x over cosine x is 2 second x. On number 16, we are going to prove cosecant square x times second x equals second x plus cosecant x times cotangent x. So in order for us to prove this one, since we have square on cosecant, it will give us the idea that we are going to use Pythagorean identities. Since we have 1 plus cotangent square x, that is cosecant square x. And the value of cosecant square x is 1 plus cotangent square x. So let us substitute this one to the given uh, equation that is 1 plus cotangent square x times second x and then let's multiply second x by 1 that is second x plus second x times cotangent square x that is second x times cotangent square x since we have second here let us remain as second and then let's have second x plus second x that is 1 over cosine x and cotangent square x is cosine square x over sine square x so let us cancel cosine cosine square x it became cosine x and cosine x became 1 so therefore we are going to have second x plus cosine x over sine square x and then let's have second x plus let us separate sine square x as 1 over sine x times cosine x over sine x if you are going to multiply 1 over sine x times cosine x over sine x, it will give us cosine x 
over sine square x. So let's simplify. So since we have second x plus 1 over sine x, that is cosecant x. And cosine over sine, that is cotangent x. Therefore, we prove that cosecant square x times second x is second x plus cosecant x times cotangent x. On number 17, let us prove sine square x minus cosine square x over sine x plus cosine x equals sine x minus cosine x. Since we have sine square x minus cosine square x, let us write this one as sine x minus cosine x multiply by sine x plus cosine x. If you are going to multiply this one, you can get sine square x minus cosine square x. So let us substitute this one to the given equation. So since we have sine x minus cosine x multiplied by the quantity of sine x plus cosine x all over sine x plus cosine x. Let's cancel this one. Therefore, we have sine x minus cosine x is equal to sine x minus cosine x. On number 18, we are going to prove the quantity of second x minus tangent x square equals 1 minus sine x all over 1 plus sine x. So since we have the quantity of second x minus tangent x raised to 2, let us simplify this one. So second x multiplied by itself, that is second square x, and then second x multiply by negative tangent x multiply by constant 2 that is negative 2 second x times tangent x and then negative tangent x multiply by itself that is positive tangent square x and then second square x that is 1 over cosine square x minus 2 and second x is 1 over cosine x and tangent x is sine x over cosine x plus tangent square x is sine square x over cosine square x let's simplify let's have 1 over cosine square x negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 times sine x over cosine times cosine is cosine square x plus sine square x over cosine square x. Since we have the same denominator, let us have cosine square x as our denominator. And let us rewrite 1 minus 2 sine x plus sine square x. And let's write this one to standard form. So let's have here sine square x minus 2 sine x plus 1. And let's write cosine square x as 1 minus sine square x. Then, simplify. Let us factor this one. Let us represent sine as x. Sine square x minus 2 sine x plus 1 is the same as sine square or x square minus 2x plus 1. And the factor of x square minus 2x plus 1 is x minus 1 times x minus 1. So let's have here sine x minus 1 times sine x minus 1 over and let us write 1 minus sine square x as 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 
plus sine x. If you are going to multiply 1 minus sine x times 1 plus sine x, it will give us 1 minus sine square x. Then, simplify. Let us rewrite sine x minus 1 in the form of 1 minus sine x. So, let's have negative 1 times 1 minus sine x. If you are going to multiply negative 1 on 1 minus sine x, it will give us sine x minus 1. And let's do the same on the other side. Let's have negative 1 times 1 minus sine x all over 1 minus sine x times 1 plus sine x x. Negative times negative is positive. Then we have 1 minus sine x times 1 minus sine x all over the quantity of 1 minus sine x times 1 plus sine x. Then let us cancel this one. It will give us 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x. Therefore, we prove that the quantity of second x minus tangent x square is 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x. This will be our answer. On number 19, we are going to prove sine raised to 4x minus cosine raised to 4x equals 1 minus 2 cosine square x. So in order for us to prove the given identity, let us write sine raised to 4x minus cosine raised to 4x as sine square x plus cosine square x multiplied by sine square x minus cosine square x. If you are going to multiply the two binomial, it will give us sine raised to 4x minus cosine raised to 4 x so let's have sine square x plus cosine square x times sine square x minus cosine square x and we all know that sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 so the value of this expression is 1. So let's have 1 times sine square x minus cosine square x. Then let's multiply 1. That's sine square x minus cosine square x. So let us change the value of sine square x because we want to have cosine square x. So, if we are going to find the value of sine square x, let us move cosine square x to the side of 1. It will give us sine square x equals 1 minus cosine square x. Therefore, the value of sine square x is 1 minus cosine square x. So, let us substitute this one. Let's have 1 minus cosine square x minus cosine square x. So, let us write 1. Negative cosine square x minus cosine square x, that is negative 2 cosine square x. Therefore, we prove that sine raised to 4x minus cosine raised to 4x equals to 1 minus 2 cosine square x. On our last example, we are going to prove the quantity of tangent square x plus 1 times the quantity of 1 plus cosine square x equals 2 plus tangent square x. Since we have an identity that is tangent square x plus 1, that is second square x. So the value of tangent square x plus 1 is second square x. So let us write here second square x, then let us write 1 plus cosine square x and then let's multiply second let's have second square x times 1 is second square x plus second square x times cosine square x is second square x times cosine square x 
Then let us simplify. Let's have second square x plus the value of second square x is 1 over cosine square x. And let us write cosine square x. So let's have here second square x plus, let us cancel this one, that is 1. And let's go back to the value of second square x, that is tangent square x plus 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1, that is 2 plus tangent square x. Therefore, we proved that the quantity of tangent square x plus 1 times the quantity of 1 plus cosine square x is equal to 2 plus tangent square x. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.